Today we're going to take a look at how you can improve your vision and your intelligence on the pitch by taking some cues from Lionel Messi and analyzing some of the little things that he does on the pitch in order to play with such awareness and intelligence. Is this going to turn you into Messi? No. And developing great vision takes a lot of time. But at least today I'm going to give you some tips on what you can learn from watching Messi in play and also give you a few tools so you can try and implement it into your own game. Now, of course, there are many factors that makes Messi one of, if not the finest player ever to play the game. Of course, there's his technique, his speed, his agility, but most importantly, his understanding of the game. And that's really what makes great players. Those players who constantly know what's going on all over the pitch and that can quickly turn it into their advantage. Obviously, Messi is one of those players. And when you look at Messi, he actually constantly looks up on the pitch. Not like long scans, looking everywhere on the pitch, but just when he's on the ball, he quickly takes little peeks to see where his teammates are and which spaces they're running into. And that's a key word here, space. Because vision and intelligence has a lot to do with understanding space on the pitch. Because you need to understand where there's space for you to run into, either with or without the ball, and where do you have empty space that you can pass the ball into for your teammates. This is something you can only know by looking up and around you and behind you. Now, a lot of players, my younger self included, would have a tendency to just stand there when they don't have the ball and well, watch what's going on. But the smart players, such as Messi, understand that the more they know about what's going on in the entire pitch, the better decisions they can make when they finally get the ball. So, you need to look up, scan, to understand where the opposition is, where your teammates are, and most importantly, where there's empty space for you to run into, get the ball, and be dangerous. Now let's say that the ball is with my center mid in there, and I know that he's pretty likely to pass it to the side to my other teammate, which also means that I probably know that I'll receive the ball in two or three passes. And knowing that, I look up, see, oh, here's a defender, let's call him Jeff. And that also means that already now, when the ball is with my center mid, I need to move away from Jeff, opening up the angle to my teammate, meaning that when I get the ball, I'm not as near the defender, meaning that I'm much harder to close down. So look up, anticipate what's gonna happen, and then see how you can find that vital open space for yourself. And here's another key takeaway for you, the visionary passing. Because obviously, Messi is fantastic at looking up and spotting teammates running. And when he does that, well, he also appears to be analyzing the defensive line to see if there's space in behind it and if there's a possibility to get the pass in there as well. And if there is, well, he plays the pass, but if there isn't, well, he doesn't play the pass and he holds onto the ball. And that's one of the key factors behind visionary passing, not only playing those Hail Mary, wild killer balls all the time, but also knowing when to keep hold of the ball because the risk of losing it is simply too big. Now, another thing you also need to factor in is that it's important to know your teammates. If Messi spots a teammate running, he needs, to know that his teammate knows that the pass is coming and that the teammate is running into the same empty space that Messi has seen. Otherwise, you've just got Messi putting sugar on a plate for no one. Is that vision? Not really. But the thing is that looking up and analyzing the game is something that really comes with a lot of experience. So if you don't have the confidence because you might not have all the basic aspects of the game mastered yet, you're not going to have that extra mental surplus to really look up and analyze what's going on. And if that's the case, here are a few tips on what you can do. So if you're available for a pass, you look up and around just before and after the ball is played. That way, you know what's going on just before you get the ball. Now, when you then get it, yes, you open up your body significantly increasing the angle that you can start moving into in either direction. And then when you finally have the ball and start to dribble, you don't look straight down at the ball, but instead a little bit ahead of the ball, because that means you can see both the ball and more of what's going on ahead of you. 
And I realize this is not gonna turn you into messy, but it might give you a bit more confidence doing these things on instinct so you can focus on actually looking at what's going on. And the second tool is experience. Not necessarily playing for 20 years, but simply by getting experience from failing. And I know it sounds a bit daft to say that you get better vision from screwing up, but then again, it's kind of true because when you think about it, failing teaches you when to pass and when not to because it's simply too risky. And to put it into other words, players with good vision and intelligence uses that to know when to make the pass and when to just step on the ball, pass it backwards and keep possession. And you should kind of do the same thing too. Of course, when you see the pass, you think you can make it, try it, and even if you fail, at least you've learned something. Now, of course, messy light vision isn't something you just flick a switch and automatically get. It's not that easy, sadly, but I think that if you start using some of the tools I've mentioned, hopefully you can get at least a little better at it bit by bit. But guys, what do you want to learn next? Let me know in the comment section right down below. Remember that you can go cop the messy Raid Ballon boots on Unisport right over there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on and then maybe head over to the playlist right there to learn how to improve even more as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.